Hi guys. So this week we're going to read and reflect on Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 to 2. We don't know who wrote the letter to the Hebrews, but it was written to Jewish followers of Jesus who were scattered around the Roman Empire, the area around the Mediterranean Sea. And increasingly, life was getting more and more tough for these folks. On the one hand, the Romans and the non-Jewish people didn't like them because they were Jewish. And more and more, their Jewish friends and neighbors didn't like them because they were followers of Jesus. So life was getting tough for them in, in a lot of different kinds of ways. In chapter 11, the writer uh, gives them a definition of faith and then gives them examples, a great roll call of the heroes of God's people who had lived in trust and obedience for the long haul. And so coming out of that list of examples, here's what the writer says in what we call chapter 12. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. So we get this picture, right, uh, since we had this great cloud of witnesses. So it's, it's this picture of like a great stadium, like one of the Olympic Games, and, and there's a race that's about to be run. And um, there are three takeaways that I get from looking at this passage, and I'm going to give them really quickly uh, a little bit out of order. And, and the first takeaway is stay in the race. You know, stay in the race. Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Um, you know, my race probably looks really different than, than the race course that's set before you. We have, we have different life circumstances and things of that nature. Um, and I know that, you know, unlike if you go to a Formula One race or um, IndyCar race or, you know, an athletic race or a foot race, the athletes generally know what the course is going to look like. They've been over the course before. They're familiar with that. This is a different kind of a race. We don't know what one day to another brings and, and what looks like. And that's scary. And there are things that are part of our course that we didn't choose, that we never would have chosen. But what I do know is, although I don't get to choose my course, I'm not alone as I run the course. And however many times I'm tempted to, to quit and drop out of the race, the, the writer of Hebrews says, look, stay in, in the race. And the way we stay in the race is by focusing on our forerunner, focusing on our forerunner. It says, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith. And those words, you know, can be translated lots of different ways. They mean um, the one who defines our faith, who gives us an example, our predecessor, uh, and also the completer of our faith, the one who brings things to completion and, and to their perfection. And, and helps to bring things to fulfillment. Um, I've learned, I guess, that in ski races, um, before anyone in a competitive way goes down, goes down the course, they have somebody or more than somebody go down, especially if it's new fallen snow, they go down first and they lay down tracks uh, that help define the course for those who are gonna follow. And that's really what Jesus has done. Jesus lived to show us how we can live a life that is pleasing to God, to live the kind of life that God always intended for us to live. Uh, one of my favorite writers, N.T. Wright, talks about how Jesus showed us a new way of being human, a new way of doing life in intimate relationship uh, with God the Father. So he, he lived his life that gave us an example. He surrendered his life. He died to break the power of sin and fear and death, the power that keeps us from living those ways, um, that by breaking that power, we are enabled, it's possible for us to live this new kind of life, even in the face of the difficulties that we face every day as we're running this race. And then finally, Jesus gave us his spirit, the same spirit that he was dependent on as he lived his life in the face of all the difficulties that he faced and knowing 
um, where he was headed, knowing he was going to the cross. That, that's the cool thing about this verse. It says that Jesus endured the cross, despising the shame. Jesus had no uh, illusions about where things were going to end up and how this was going to go. He knew what the difficulties were going to be, but he was willing to continue running the race that was set before him because he knew what was on the other side of that. And he trusted his father to bring him through that uh, successfully. So, you know, stay in the race, focus on the forerunner. And then the third thing I take away is let go of what slows you down. There's all kinds of stuff that slows us down in this journey, in this race of following Jesus. Uh, for me, sometimes it's just my mental outlook. Um, I'm wired in a way that sometimes leads me more towards sadness um, and, and even, you know, little bits of depression or anger. Uh, for some of us, it's, it's sin. It's patterns that we can't seem to break. And over and over again, we fall into the same kinds of, of patterns and things. We wonder if we can ever get out of that. But that's the good news, because Jesus did show us this new way of being human. He did die to break that power. So it is possible uh, for us to, to live the way that he lived. And then he gave us his spirit to direct us and empower us uh, to live that way. And, and we can see victory over the stuff that slows us down and, and holds us back from following him. So I just want to encourage you today, um, based on what Hebrews tells us, you know, I don't know what your race looks like, and, and these are really tough days, but stay, stay in that race. Uh, when, when everything and everyone else would pull your attention to something else, keep your focus on the forerunner. Keep your eyes on, on Jesus. He, it says that Jesus was tempted in everything and always, just as we were. Uh, but he lived a life that was without sin and laid down tracks for us. And, and then trusting the power of Jesus to make it possible for you. Let go of whatever it is that is holding you back, whether that is you know, patterns of behavior that you just can't seem to shake, whether it's, it's attitudes and outlooks that just kind of keep you in, in the shadows, or whether it's stuff that has happened to you in the past that has hurt you really, really badly. Good news is that because of the life, death, and the, the resurrection of Jesus, none of that stuff has to have power over how you live today.